and AB rates are up by 50 basis points. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee, let's have a look at this article from savings.com.au discussing National Australia Bank raising their interest rates now by half a percent on some loans. We're starting to see significant rate increases, everyone. And I'll just bring up the economic uh, cash rate here just in case you haven't seen it. We're sitting at 0.1%. Now, the RBA considers zero point, or sorry, 3%, 3.0% to be emergency rates. That was their emergency rates. <laughs> and what are we at now? 01 But it's not stopping the banks from steadily hiking their rates. All of the big four have been lifting their rates. So let's have a look at this article and then see what the impact will be. So NAB increased fixed home loans by up to 50 basis points. Now, I know if you're like me, you may not trust the RBA. Maybe, maybe not. So a lot of people locked in their mortgages, guys. You know, a lot of us have fixed rates for four years, some even five. A lot of people under two, under 2%. Now, you need to do the sums. I just did the sums yesterday with Rachel, thinking, okay, what's going to happen when we get out of this and we hit 5% interest rates? You want to check. You want to think, okay, suddenly you'll be paying 5 interest. Just do the sums, check it out, guys, and see what you need to plan for that to happen. That's just advice I would give all of you. Even if you're fine, even if you've got buffers, just do it just so you know, so you're not surprised. So you think, okay, I've got to come up with an extra 500 a month, extra 1,000 a month, whatever it is, just so you're ready. And hopefully the money that you're saving, you're putting into smart, you know, either investments or you're stocking up cash, or you're probably buying seven other negative geared properties to, you know, build your empire, the Aussie dream. Anyway, let, let's have a look. Thursday's increase marks the second time in three weeks an AB has raised its fixed interest rates on home loans. So here's the thing. They, they're doing what the RBA wants them to do, aren't they? They're cooling the housing market. This won't precipitate a huge crash in housing don't be sitting on the edge of your seats there hoping that there'll be this correction you've been waiting for for years and you'll be able to dive in and get a house for you know three hundred thousand dollars less than what it's worth there's, there's too many people waiting for that to happen too many people you know waiting for a 10 percent fall to jump in what you'll see is this will cool the market and then it will impact consumer discretionary spending so the fixed rate rise can uh, rate rise continues as many lenders continue hiking fixed interest rates while cutting variable interest rates on mortgages. And AB's biggest increase this time around were the various investment home loan products paying interest only in arrears increased by up to 50 basis points. In arrears, interest payments are made at the end of the month while in advance payments are made at the start of the month. For investors, this could uh, pose a few advantages at tax time. So, other noteworthy increases include the choice packaged tailored fixed principal and interest rose 30 basis points. Uh, We've got another one. We'll have a look at all of these. I've got the tables. So, these increased rates apply to new lending with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 95% for owner-occupiers and 90% for investors. There you go. 95% or 90%. At one stage, NAB's choice package home loans For owner-occupiers, fixed for three and four years were under the 2% threshold. The rise follows NAB hikes in September and November. NAB is the only bank to hike interest rates recently. Sorry, isn't. (laughs) Of course. Um, You know. Combank, Suncorp, MeBank have increased their fixed rates by up to 62 basis points last month. So if we have a look here, we can see the actual tables. And what are we looking at here? Owner, owner owner-occupier, principal and interest, four years. You're going from 2.89% to 3.9, sorry, 2.89% to 3.29%, everyone. So that's a big jump, and the comparison rate has gone up. So it's a point, well, a point uh, four increase. We can see here one year is up from 1.99 to 2.49. Five years are up from 3.09 to 3.49. 
go down here, we can see residential investors, principal and interest. Interest only in arrears, they're, what's the, they're the highest, 3.79%. Let's play with some numbers. We have a look here. This is, we're looking at an increase of four-year loan, which is 2.89 up to, to 3.29, not 2.8, 2.9, fix that, Florian. That's an increase in repayments per month of $125. So that's a 5.22% increase. Okay, so let's say you're one of these uh, residential investors, interest only in arrears. You're going from 3.29 to 3.79. So we'll change that to 3.29, 3.79. And, you know, you've got a, there's fees and other charges and, and it all changes a little bit. This is just a real simple Simple method I've done here, just so we can see the actual impact and, and visualize it in a dollar sense. And the reason I'm picking 580,000 is because that's the, the average mortgage here in Australia, everyone. So you're talking there $162, 30 a, a month extra. So you know what's going to happen to investors. They're going to negative gear it, or it'll, it'll make negative gearing even better. Or what, what's really going to happen is rents are going to go up. That's what we will see here. We'll see rents increase. So let's let's play principal and interest owner occupier five years. So they've gone from 3.09 to 3.49. Um, 3 3.49. And let's say, you know, they went in on one of these new super mortgages and they got you know, $700,000 in a mortgage. So there, you're still only seeing a difference of 154 a week a month, everyone. So it's a, it's an your mortgage payments are now have well, healthily over three thousand dollars a month, but you're seeing 154 dollars now. If we see that three thousand dollars. Let's just I'm going to bring up the ABS, everyone. We'll just bring that here, and we can see what's the average average weekly earnings is 1,737 dollars. So just keep that in mind, 1700 bucks weekly earnings, but you're paying 3100 just on your mortgage. So two weeks will take care of your mortgage, two and a half. This is why you need a couple working together to do this, everyone. That's why you need a couple working together to do it. So guys, there we go, another interest rate rise. I can't say anyone is at all surprised. What do you think? Are you shocked or surprised that this is happening? Anyway, check out this last video in our series of interest rate increases, just how it's impacting people. We're going to see it creep up more and more. Are you ready and are you prepared? You know, where are you putting your money? Are you being sensible with it or are you already at the edge? Hopefully not. Time to prepare, time to change the budget. Take care. I'll see you next time.